Namaste. Welcome to the Prostate Enlargement Healing Sequence 2. First of all, sit in Vajrasana. Your back, neck and spine is straight. Take a moment to become aware how our prostrate is in progress to be healed from previous sequence one. Let's continue to heal with sequence two. Bringing yourself into the present, onto your mat, into your body. Rub your palm together and bring the hands onto the lower abdomen. Keep the warmth and the healing to your lower abdomen and chakras. One more time, rub your palm together and bring the hand onto your abdomen. This time, hands on top of each other, below the navel. Inhale, lift your chest slightly up. With exhale, going forward. Inhale, come back up. With exhale, going forward, long and deep, slow exhalation. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale up. Bring your hands back onto your knees. Sit quietly for a while. And let this process help massaging and stimulating the area around low rectum. And gently open your eyes. Extend your legs out. Bend your right knee. Keep your back, neck and spine nicely upright and straight. Check your both hips on the ground. This hips, the hip of course will be on the ground but most also try keep this hip on the ground adjust the body then bring your right hand around the right knee interlock the fingers if possible onto your back keep your left leg active toes towards your face heel out and inhale lift your chest up exhale folding forward 
just slightly. Do not push. Just do what is easy and most comfortable in your body. Keep the breathing as it is normally while you're holding the asana. Inhale back. Exhale, release. Change your leg. Bending the left leg. Left hand go around your left leg. Interlock the fingers if possible. Or you can use a rope to hold the leg. Inhale. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, come back. Exhale, release. Bend your right knee one more time. So this time your right hand goes back. Left hand go around the right knee. Adjust the leg so that you feel most comfortable. Activate the foot. The hand have to be as far or as close to you that your back remain straight. So you don't want to be doing this or this. So the hand is right in, in the place where you are nice, upright and straight. And inhale. With exhale, twist to the right. Then leave the breathing normal. Back to the center. Exhale. Change your leg. Bend the left knee. Left hand goes on to the back. Right hand against the left knee. Inhale and exhale, twist. Back to the center. Stretch your legs out. Then bend your right knee onto your left thigh. See if you can hold your foot with your hand. And hold your shin bone. And inhale. With exhale going forward. Inhale, exhale going forward, inhale, 
exhale going forward. Hold there and breathe. Inhale, come back. Exhale, release. Change your leg. And onto your shin bone. Inhale, exhale forward. Inhale, exhale forward. Inhale, exhale forward. Inhale up and exhale release. Then join the sole of the feet together. Hold your feet with your hands, lift your chest up and shake your knees gently. Exhale, release. And bring your legs slightly forward. Adjust your hip. Bring your hands, the elbows onto the ground. And just lock the fingers. Stay there and breathe. Go ahead, close your eyes. And enjoy the asana. Gently open your eyes and come back to this normal sitting position. Bring your feet slightly forward and lay down onto your back. Bring the hand, one hand onto your lower abdomen and one hand onto your navel chakra solar plexus
and bring your hand behind your back of the head. Bring the feet slightly closer if they are too far. And then close your knees, open your legs. So do that butterfly in the laying down position about 10 times. And gradually stop, let go, stay in there for a few more seconds. And release your hands from your back of the head, bring the feet on the ground flat feet about hip wide open and close to your hips. Tuck your chin slightly towards your chest. Then inhale, push with your hands, elbows and lift your hips as high up as possible and rolling your shoulders onto the ground. And if those who think they can go higher, they can bring the hand under the back for higher position, higher asana. For those who think that this is too much or cannot do, they can keep holding the ankles or interlocking the fingers, pressing the hand into the ground and staying there. Exhale down, stretch legs out, shake them, and let go for a moment with your feet apart, hands apart, palm facing upward the ceiling, allowing your body to heal yourself, releasing all the anxiety and worries as you relax your body. Bring your awareness onto your abdomen and become aware of the ingoing and outgoing process of breathing.
gently come back into your body. Move your body and shake yourself. Turn to your right, push with your hands and sit up. Sit in any comfortable position, keeping your back and your spine straight. Hands can be on the knees or in front. We will do three rounds of Kapal Bhati. Breathe in to your abdomen. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now breathe in fully completely and begin the Kapalpati. Exhale, inhale and exhale. Preparing in your mind for round two. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale fully completely and begin. Inhale and exhale. Release and relax. Round three, inhale, exhale, inhale fully completely and begin. and relax. We palm together and bring the hand onto your lower abdomen. Keep the warmth and the healing. Down 
and rub your palm together and bring them onto your eyes onto your face rub your face give thanks in prayer pose very slowly and gently open your eyes that was our yoga for healing prostrate sequence 2 thank you very much whoever joined me in this practice in this sequence and i look forward to see you in the sequence 3 Namaskar.